Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Ten Goku. I'm your host Lindsay. I'm David. And on the show, we look at anime figures, action figures, and other fun collectibles from Japan. And for the first time in a while, yeah, we are doing prize, prize figures. figures. Now these are especially cool because they're, you know, they're cheap, and they are actually pretty well made. I think. Yeah.、Um, And they they churn them out so much that you can always ensure that you're going to find your character that you like at some point. So, for instance, I actually bought this today. So, <laughs> the great thing about that is,、uh, well, we'll tell you later about something special to do with the giveaway with that one.、Um, but the other ones, we're just going to compare the three companies. Right. So we've got Bam Presto, Taito, and Furio. Yep. So,、uh, what do you say? We crack into them. Yep. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, so here they are, right out of the box. We've got three figures, three manufacturers, and three very different sizes. Yeah, Mickey's <laughs> so, tiny. Right. So these are all non-scale, which means that unlike normal figures that you buy from like Alter or Kotobukiya, they don't have like a one seventh, one eighth,、mm. or whatever scale to them. So the the manufacturers just make them whatever they want, and they also within each manufacturer they have different sizes too. So Rem here is from Bam Presto's EXQ series, I believe. Yep.、Um, which is kind of a higher quality figure. Yeah,、um, they're a little bit more expensive. Let's check out her first. Right. So they're they're a little bit more expensive, and the reason why is because they have all of these nice texture details、um, and other tiny details that other figures might not. It's really impressive, honestly. Like lots of clear parts. Just for the the quality. Of- Two thousand. That's this is two thousand yen on our website, you know, and that's not, not bad at all. Considering、no. like Alter is a hell of a lot more. Right, and if you if you go actually to the the game price center, you'd probably get her for under three thousand if you're、yeah. if you're good. If you're good. But generally around two thousand is what you're going to be paying. Anywhere basically, but yeah. So this is really cool. She's got her Morning Star weapon, but it's a beach ball,、um, very cute touch. She's got these kind of clear parts too underneath her、um, bikini top, and then of course the clear sunglasses, which show off her very cute peeking、yeah. eye expression. Her so, her eyes peeking over. I mean, they are actually、um, separate. They're not. They're not glued on. I had to s- stick it through her little fingers there. You've got to. It's a little bit finicky, I got to say, but、um, it shows you on the box how to do it. So. I love her face so much. I'm just showing you guys an up close because, like, the hair is semi-translucent as well, so you can see the eye peeking through her bangs as well as the glasses. Very cute. Also, the hat is separate. Oh yeah,、too. so you can take the hat off if you like.、Um, there is a pretty obvious seam line on the head on this one. I like the hat on better myself personally. I'll just show you guys what it looks like from far away. So you do have two looks to choose from. The hat is very cute itself. Yeah, but the hat has,、uh, I think serves a purpose with the covering that seam line. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Cool. All right. Next up, let's look at Furio. We'll go from just biggest to smallest. So <laughs> Furio do a lot of these Love Life figures in their special costumes from the games. This is Yoshiko Tsushima. Doing a really cute pose as well.、Um, just off the bat, I noticed that compared to Rem, she doesn't have any textures going on in her outfit like Rem does. The figure overall looks really nice. Yeah. And it's great to have all of these、uh, costumes from the game because Alter and these other places <laughs> aren't going to make them all. No. And even、okay. if they did, they'd be way too expensive to, to afford. To get all of them. <laughs> yeah. Because an Alter figure, like in general, is usually about Fifteen、uh, thousand,、yeah. probably. But yeah, she does have a lot of nice details going on, like the ornaments in her hair, the hair tie, the obi here. It's it's nicely done. I would totally collect these if I was a big love liver myself. But you know. <laughs> but I'm not. I like love live, but I don't collect it because I'm too busy with tails.、Right. <laughs> so last up, let's look at Taito. The most petite figure here today, but arguably the cutest. This is the Miku birthday special. You can see she's got this adorable little cake here that says "12th Happy Birthday," and that's got texture to it, right? So this one also has a bit of texture around. The illustration is from the tenth birthday, but they changed it. The cake says "12th." 
But yeah, the illustration was super cute. I was a little worried if they'd be able to pull off this face well or not. I was worried as well because the actual art, like the the picture on the box of of her in real life, doesn't look. It makes you look a bit her look a bit Jokerish. Jokerish. <laughs> but but the actual well. figure looks really cute. I think they did a good job. But yeah, it's a hard expression to pull off because she's just got this huge smile. Yeah. But I really like it. And they also, like Rem, went for the clear semi-translucent bangs here. And the ends of her hair are also semi-translucent, as you can see if I like stick my finger through it there. Nice. Her outfit, too, has some really cute details and other little touches. The star chain goes all the way around. It's quite nice. Yeah, and she's got a pearl necklace on, too. Nice stripes around the collar. Um, there does seem to be a little defect on top with the paint, but that's kind of to be expected with mm. prize figures. I mean, you're paying for what you get. So again, all of these are around 2,000 yen. And if you buy a figure from Good Smile or Alter yeah. for 15,000 yen, you don't expect to see many flaws. But with these, they are, you know, not as, as closely touched in the production stage. And so sure. you will get a few I think this one's like, paint chips the cheapest sometimes. lot. Oh, also her base totally wins among yes, the three. The this is the cute cutest base one. by far. Uh, the others, Rem just comes on a very kind of plain boring. white disc, <laughs> and Yoshiko is kind of stylized, matches the other Love Live girls in the lineup, but not incredible. No. This this one looks like what I'd expect from a scale figure instead. Yeah. So yeah, there they are. They, they're all great in their own way, and they could be yours. They could be. Not <laughs> this one, first, though. <laughs> yeah, that's David's. But anyways, before we get into the contest details, why don't you take it away, David? Okay. Three different manufacturers, three different figures and characters that we all love. Yeah. Again, like David said, it's so great because if you don't get a scale figure of a character you like, sometimes these guys will make them instead. And they make a yeah. lot of plush dolls and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun. just figures. So. But yeah, so again, we have Bam Presto, Taito, and Kuryu. Oh, and somebody's going to win all three of them today. Yes. And not only are they going to win all three of them, they will win. They will win this lovely figure in mint, in condition. mint condition. Because, as you saw earlier, we uh, took a look at my one that I opened today, so we don't have to open the box, which is better for you. Yeah. But um, anyway, so first, first we've got to give, give away, away a very big figure, and that is Super Sonico, and that is the racing Mickey ver racing Mickey version. So the winner is this time. It is from YouTube, and it is Venom Maniac, who says, Wow, I love the com color combinations. I would love to have add her to my Miku collection, spice it up a bit. So, um, as we mentioned this time, it's, it's appropriate because she's wearing Miku's racing Miku outfit. So maybe this guy doesn't have any Super Sonico, but has a hell of a lot of Miku. I don't know. But I feel like cool. they've done several collaborations now, uh, oh. Super Sonico and Miku. Well, anyway, well done. Um, please contact me at support at hlj.com uh, to set that up as soon as possible. And if you would like to win these lovely three figures here, all you have to do is comment on this episode on hobbylink.tv or comment on the YouTube episode in the comments. And you can enter for what, you know, one time each mm -hmm. on each. Just make sure you're subscribed and you're registered on hobbylink.tv. And that, that does it. So uh, I guess we'll catch you next time. All right.
see ya. bye.